Home, the Nacogdoches County Hospital District voted to take no action to terminate a closed retirement plan. KTRE's Mariela Gonzalez was at the meeting and hears from those attending. Nearly 800 people filled the conference room at the Fredona Hotel early this evening. This as the Nacogdoches County Hospital District Board holds its meeting to discuss the termination of a closed retirement plan. The defined benefit plan started in the 80s. It was closed in 2017 when the hospital switched over to a 401k plan. A defined benefit plan is a retirement plan that promises a specific monthly benefit, a dollar amount, to an employee when they retire. Six people spoke during the public forum. Al Marie Henderson believed there was a lack of communication and oversight from leaders. This issue has been developing for some time now. And we as recipients, we should have been informed when it was first discovered that there was a shortfall so we could plan accordingly. Melissa Johnson expressed the uncertainty of financial situations people may face. A lot of these people are depending on this money month by month by month. Not everyone has an IRA. Not everyone has extra money laying to wait till they need it. The board's attorney, Scott Skelton, explained how distributions would be handled if the termination of the pension plan was to go through. He also says the termination would be expected to take a year. It would require setting a distribution date and determining the method of asset distribution and prioritizing payments to participants based on contribution types. And participants are given notice and distributions are valued and made as soon uh, as administratively feasible. This process would take at least a year. The board was in executive session for over 30 minutes. Board member Wesley McKnight withdrew his motion to disband the retirement plan. He said with two board members missing tonight, it was only fair to include their votes at a later meeting. However, he still believes disbanding the plan would be the best option. Mariela Gonzalez, KTRE East Texas News 9. At this time, it isn't clear if the board will revisit that decision at a special or regular meeting.